Uh, yeah, uh, I've been drumming since I was about 12 years old. Uh, I'm 29 now, so uh, I've been doing the maths for 17 years. So I uh, basically started by um, playing keyboard in a band, which uh, at the time kind of worked because we were playing like Bon Jovi and Guns N' Roses covers. Uh, so that worked alright. But then uh, we started playing stuff a little bit heavier and couldn't really uh, play piano along to them, so I was feeling a bit left out. So, so one day a uh, drummer didn't turn up for rehearsals and took the sticks, started bashing away, and, uh, and the rest is history. Um, it's a lot, I mean, I guess it's changed over the years when, when I started drumming. Um, at the time I started drumming, it was a transitional period between listening to the um, late 80s sort of glam rock drummers like, you know, like Tico Torres, Bon Jovi and uh, Tommy Lee, those, those type of people, um, and getting onto the heavier stuff then back back in the in the early 90s like you know, Dave Lombardo, Seth Tura and uh, Hugo Cavalera, those type of drummers. Um, so yeah, it was uh, I think my style is like a mixture of the, between those two types of music really, the, the big stadium rock and, and, and the metal side of things because those I guess were the two biggest influences I had when I started drumming. The first band I was part of, um, actually the first band I was part of wasn't really a band, it was, um, we have a thing in Wales, um, it's like a festival we have every year that you have in your school and um, they have a little, I don't know, they have all sorts of uh, academic contests but they also have musical ones as well and um, I played, I think it was Twist and Shout by the, be quiet Rich, Twist and Shout by the Beatles and uh, I guess you would call that St. Winifred's House. That's the name of the organisation. Noisiness. Racket. Pretty much is, uh, all seems to be doing well now. Um, mostly. No melody. No melody. No melody. Nice hair. A racket as well these days. Uh, I suppose that was true in the 80s. But, uh, I'm not quite so sure that the songs that are coming out this year will be. Uh, this time we'll be ramped up alongside the greats of the uh, 80s rock scene. Um, I guess besides extensive touring, which will see us up till the end of this year, I'm sure we're, we're just working on, on new stuff. We have a new member in the band, so it's always good to see how it is to write with the, with the new element in the band, so we'll see how that goes.